You will be admitted to the hospital about two days to a week before transplant. Once you are admitted, you will start on a countdown to the day of the transplant. The day of your transplant is called day zero. During these days, you will receive chemotherapy and, in some cases, radiation. This is called the preparative regimen. The goal of the preparative regimen is to destroy all the cancerous or diseased cells in your body. It will also destroy enough of your own marrow to allow you or your donor's healthy marrow to replace it. The type and amount of chemotherapy and or radiation you will receive depends upon your particular disease and the type of transplant you are having. The side effects of the preparative regimen range from mild to severe and in some cases can be life-threatening. Your BMT physician and or nurse practitioner will explain the risks of the preparative regimen to you. Other areas that will help you in your recovery are eating normally for as long as you can to get the nutrition your body will need. Some foods may be limited. Maintaining personal hygiene every day. Participating in physical activity to help you sleep better. It also helps to maintain good lung and heart function, muscle tone, and circulation. Chemotherapy will be given to you by mouth or through your central venous catheter. Some of the side effects of the chemotherapy may include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, sores in the mouth and throat, and temporary hair loss. Other organs such as your kidneys, liver, heart, or lungs may also be affected. Keep in mind that not everyone experiences all of these side effects. All efforts will be made to reduce any side effects. The chemotherapy will also destroy blood cells and lower your blood counts. You will therefore need to get blood and platelet transfusions. Your medical team will check your blood count every day and schedule transfusions as needed. Depending on the illness you are being treated for, you may receive radiation in addition to the chemotherapy. This type of radiation treatment is called total body irradiation, or TBI. Prior to your treatment, a radiation oncologist will explain the process and what you should expect with each treatment. Radiation will take place once or twice a day and last for about 15 to 20 minutes. The side effects of radiation are very similar to those of chemotherapy. The common symptoms may include fatigue, nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, mouth sores, headaches, fever, and skin redness or dryness. Long-term side effects of radiation include possible skin cancer, darkening or dry and flaky skin, persistent dry mouth, cataracts, and possible lung damage. Sterility is likely to follow high-dose chemotherapy, as well as many regular chemotherapy treatments. Men may want to consider sperm banking before chemotherapy and should talk to their physicians or BMT coordinator about this. Women can freeze their fertilized eggs. Before undertaking this procedure, the desire to proceed with this should be weighed against the time delay it would have on starting chemotherapy. Some people experience very few of these conditions, whereas others experience more of them. We will try to keep you as comfortable as possible, and we will give you medications to counter the effects of the preparative regimen. On the day of the transplant, life-sustaining bone marrow or peripheral blood stem cells, which were collected from you or your donor, will be given back to you through your catheter, just like a blood transfusion. Before your stem cell infusion, you may be given medication to prevent nausea and vomiting. You may also receive medication to protect you from an allergic reaction that can result from the preservative used for frozen cells. The cells will be infused over the course of one to two hours, 
depending on the amount being infused and how well you tolerate the infusion. This is considered day zero and your new birthday. The cells of the newly infused marrow make their way into your bones and begin to reproduce, making new healthy blood cells. A nurse will monitor your temperature, pulse, and blood pressure during and after the infusion. The infusion may cause facial flushing, nausea, vomiting, or cramping in your belly. If you are receiving your own frozen autologous stem cells, you may rarely experience some side effects such as shortness of breath, chest pain or tightness, and your urine may appear red in color on this day. The side effects lessen after the infusion. Please let your medical team know if you experience any side effects during or after you receive the stem cells. When receiving cells that were frozen for transplant, you may notice that you are breathing off a garlic-like odor. You may also experience a different but not necessarily unpleasant taste in your mouth. The odor is from a preservative that was added to the bone marrow or stem cells to prevent damage during the freezing process. Many patients become accustomed to the odor after about 30 minutes, but visitors may notice the odor for up to 72 hours.